All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Okay. Someone's feeling left out. Someone's isolated. Someone's giving someone the cold shoulder. It could have been someone who just left a relationship or things just may have been stuck and stagnant in the past. Things just came to a halt. You want to walk away. You think someone's walking away. You're walking away from a relationship that's not making you happy. This could be a breakup. It could be because of the anchor, because someone's extremely stubborn about their ways. This is someone very, very controlling. And this all is happening because probably someone wants to turn back. Could be someone very sneaky, very deceptive. Someone could have got caught or someone just realized that they were doing things the wrong way and now they want to come back. This is someone who wants to change for the better. Someone's returning after being sneaky and deceptive. In the in the future, you're going to be experiencing the Seven of Cups. I think you're going to feel like you have a lot of choices, a lot of options, or you're just going to feel just very confused about the situation. More like, should I take this person back? Should I return to this relationship? Yes or no? Something like that. Okay, let's start. All right. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles as the overall energy for Cancer? Yeah, someone's focusing on their stability and growth. After laying down a situation that was very, very burdensome. Or probably someone's coming towards you, Cancer, or you're going towards someone. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Offering a commitment, offering stability and growth. But this could be after someone has laid down a situation. It could be a very stressful situation that someone's just let go. Someone's finished a cycle. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Someone's finished a cycle. Can I put the Ten of Wands in reverse? Yeah. We have the Death in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is someone who's resisting and ending. Something's already dead. You know this, Cancer. The opposite person also knows this. The person you're dealing with. But they're still dragging a dead situation. You know it's over. You know it's over, but you're still trying to resist an ending, or they're trying to resist an ending. They're not ready to accept the ending. Clear for the death and reverse. Clear for the death and reverse. Because they love you. The problem is because we have the lovers here. You could be dealing with a fixed sign Gemini. This is someone who loves you very, very much. You have a strong soulmate connection you have. You have a very strong soulmate connection here. That's why someone's not ready to let go. They feel this love. They feel this love for you. You feel this love for them. You know there's love here. You feel it. You feel each other, but you're just not ready to end something. So one person has already let go of the burden. They're like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. And now the other person has to come in and offer a commitment. There's a very strong soulmate twin friend connection here. Yeah. But there's someone who's not ready to... Probably someone's not ready to end the connection here. Yeah. It's already dead. It's already dead. That is love, but the connection is dead. Dead does not always mean that the connection is dead, okay? There could have been some beliefs that you're holding on to. You need to let the old die and let the new come in. So there could be someone... Look, we have the emperor here, okay, as the influencer. So there could be someone who's very, very stubborn. They want it their way, you know, like my way or the highway. Could be, and that is influencing the situation. That is exactly why the breakup has happened or the separation or someone's just moved out. Because someone's very stubborn. So someone needs to change their ways. And that's what they're doing. They're not doing that. They're resisting a change. This change is going to come regardless. You won't be able to drag the situation for long. There's a lot of love here. Both of you all have it. But someone's just like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. You need to change. You need to let go of your beliefs. Why the world and reverse in the past? What is stuck in the past? Why for the world and reverse? Yeah. So in the past, there was a situation that was stuck. Something just came to an abrupt end. And there was someone who had a lot of confidence or who said, you know what, someone was being very, very strong. And they tried, and, and probably this is someone who rejected an offer in the past. Someone who's very, very aloof. This is someone who's just aloof, distant themselves. They just isolated themselves. This is someone who would have ended something out of the blue, okay? Just like all of a sudden. 
and they were very very uh, they were showing a lot of strength in ending this connection and they just isolated themselves they don't want to talk they feel rejected or you feel rejected clear for the five of pentacles what the five of pentacles as the current situation clear for the five of pentacles yeah someone's feeling left out because there's someone who's not putting in the effort at all this is someone who's not investing this relationship at all we have the eight of pentacles in reverse why is the eight of pentacles in reverse see again because someone's stuck they're stuck they're in two minds or someone wants to return so i'll tell you what's happening in the current situation we see the five of pentacles we see the eight of pentacles in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse a lot of eights that the change is coming in so i feel there's been a separation or breakup someone's left out in the cold someone feels very very left out someone's missing that the person you know, both could be missing each other someone stop investing into this relationship and the moment someone stop doing that the other person wants to return that's what i think is happening someone stopped investing into the relationship after being left out in the cold and now someone wants to return back can i put the eight of cups in reverse i see or i just say they want to return and what do they want to return with they want to return with a love offer we have the knight of cups here you could be dealing with another water sign the moment you stop investing in a relationship that's when the person exactly comes and that's like law of attraction let it go and watch it come Life of the Emperor. Who's this Emperor? Why is the Emperor influencing the current situation? Life of the Emperor, please. Yeah. Life of the Six of Pentacles. No. Mm. Okay. So there could be someone who's very, very controlling. Someone who's very structured. This could be a married man, okay? And maybe this married man is giving to someone else. This is someone who's already invested someone else. The emperor is usually married to. This is someone very committed. This is a married man who has to give somewhere else, and maybe he's planning on leaving a marriage because we have a higher fortune in reverse. This guy is blocking because this guy is already invested somewhere else. Things were stuck between you both all of a sudden, but this guy is having to give somewhere else too. Maybe, like I said, they're already married. But very strong feeling this guy is married. but he's in the process of and and he can't give you commitment right now i think this is what I, this is someone not being able to offer a commitment but for the hierophant in reverse yeah for the hierophant in reverse please and that's why you and and they're missing you too but they're feeling left out in the cold okay so 100% this is a separation this is definitely a breakup a separation you guys love each other you have a soulmate connection you know you guys will very very connected someone wants to offer you commitment stability is coming in But for that, someone needs to leave a relationship because they're already feeding another relationship right now, and they they cannot offer you commitment. This is someone who's not being able to offer you commitment, and that's why both of you feel left out in the hole. That's when the past there was a connection that came to a complete halt. All of us in this person must have just kept communication. It took them a lot of strength to do that, and now someone feels rejected in the past. That's why you're not sure whether you want to walk away or not. Clear for the eight of cups. Clear for the eight of cups. See, or you want to walk away, but you. This is your soulmate. You have the six of cups here. You want to walk away. That's on your mind. But you have a very strong soulmate connection here. You're just not being able to do that. That's why you're in two months. You're stuck. You miss them a lot. You have amazing memories with them. You just want to return to them, or they want to return back to you. Clear for the six of cups. This is good memories with them. This is either someone from your past returning to you. You want someone to return to you, or you want to return to someone. Can I have the six of cups? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you have the Empress. You could be dealing with a fixed sign Libra or Taurus. You want to walk away, but you have lovely memories with this person. You're missing this person. To me, there's a lot of missing. You know, more than the separation, there's a lot of missing. You guys are missing each other so much, and you want something new with this person. You want to, you want to expand. You want growth and expansion with this person. You want this person to nurture your relationship. You want someone to nurture this connection. You want to give birth to something new. That's what's on your mind, Cancer. All right. Why is this reading going down? Clear for the Seven of Swords in Reverse. What is the Seven of Swords in Reverse? What is the Seven of Swords in Reverse? 
Yeah, someone's feeling very, very guilty. Someone's feeling very guilty about this disconnection. Now they want to return to this, but they see that there's already a disconnection between you both. You guys are not being able to see eye to eye. This is two people who are in love, but they're not being able to see eye to eye because they're not on the same page. Someone wants to return to a connection because there's already been a breakup. Perfect two of cups in reverse. Oh my God, there's lack of forward movement. I don't think there is a communication between you both at all. We have the eight of wands in reverse. This is something that has completely come to a halt, just like, just like I said in the past, right? Something's completely stuck and stagnant. So basically, everything's happening because someone was feeling guilty. Someone ran off. I think someone tried to avoid this connection before. They avoided or tried to ignore this connection. And there was a breakup. And that's why there, there's a lack of forward movement. There's just no communication between you both. I have a feeling that there's just no communication between you both. Just You guys have just stopped talking. You're, like just one, you're both in, are in each other's corner. One is on one corner. The other was on the other corner. But there's a lot of love. Let me tell you that. A lot of love. Clap for the eight of wands and reverse. Clap for the eight of wands and reverse. Let's see. Okay, one second. I think someone's being very, very stubborn here. There could be someone who is extremely stubborn. They weren't being able to look at things from the other person's perspective. That's why. That's why this is happening. They weren't being able to see things from the other person's perspective. They were not budging. This is someone very stubborn. Clap for the Seven of Cups, please. Why will Cancer experience the Seven of Cups in the future? Clap for the Seven of Cups. Yeah. You have your options open. And you have that clarified by the sun. So I think you're going to see and you're going to think about, you have a lot of ways to approach this person. So I think you're going to find out from all these options, what is the best way to approach your happiness? This person makes you very happy. Clarify the sun, please. Clarify the sun. Mm, you're going to come out of the isolation more. Whoever's isolated here, whoever's broken up, or whoever's the ones, who, whoever's, left the relationship even if it's both of you all right someone's returning to you the hermit is in reverse could be dealing with a fixed sign scorpion so i think <clears throat> more than confusion i think this is you have a lot of options a lot of strategies you have you're confused about which approach to choose to go towards your happiness this person makes you very very happy and you're coming out of your isolation mode you want to return to someone I said the hermit in reverse. I told you someone wants to come back. We have two cards of saying someone wants to come back. We have the seven of swords in reverse. This is someone feeling guilty and trying to come back after avoiding a connection. We have the hermit in reverse. So this is someone who had isolated themselves, withdrawn themselves to get a better view about things. So a lot of self-introspection. And now after that, they're coming out. They're coming out of that isolation mode. They want to talk. We the hermit in reverse. See? Someone has a lot of hope. We have the star. That's beautiful. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. This is someone who wants to come out of the cold. They want to come out of that isolation mode. They're finding ways of how to approach you. Probably because there's block communication. You guys have broken up. You guys are in separation. There's a lack of commitment here. Someone could have been very, very stubborn earlier. But that would only be, I think, because they had to give to someone else. And because there is no commitment, the other person feels very, very left out. And in the future, you're going to find, this is whoever this resonates with. It. This is you can for the person you're dealing with. Someone's going to find out a lot of ways. They have a lot of options. They're just confused about how to approach you. They're going to come out of their isolation mode with the hermit in reverse. And it is probably going to be a wish fulfillment. Some, your wish is going to come true, Cancer. If you're waiting for someone to return to you with a commitment, or if this is you. Who has to give someone a commitment? There's going to be a wish fulfillment. That's because someone has a lot of patience. I'm, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm very surprised I haven't seen the temperance card here. But someone has a lot of patience. They've healed from whatever has been the past hope. They've healed from this. They've healed from this connection. From the hurt. And now they're very positive. They know that things are going to happen in divine timing. And they've given themselves time. They've returned back after a lot of thinking. And you're going to have a wish that is going to come true. Look, at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. You're going to get clarity. Someone's going to come into you. It could be an ace, an Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini. But there's someone who's coming to you with a lot of clarity, you know. 
Like I said, right? The overall energy we have the King of Pentacles. Someone's coming forward to offer you a commitment, stability, growth. After laying down a very painful situation, this is ending of a cycle. You get letting off any burdens. But the problem is that there's still that that energy is in the reverse. There's a lot of lingering energy. You know, maybe this person wants to let go of this burden, but they're still resisting and ending somewhere. They've not completely, you know, even if this person wants to leave a situation where they're already married, they're not being able to because they're resisting and ending. Some Almost resisting and ending here, right? But they do realize that there's a lot of love here. That's strong soulmate energy. Alright, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, follow, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.